call this meeting of uh, Ohio County Fiscal Court to order uh, on this 5th day of January 2024 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Magistrate Michael McKinney to lead us in a prayer and pledge the flag. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for being always with us. Please be with this court to make good decisions that impact our community. Be with all those people this this weekend while we have some severe weather. And be with us as we go forward and make decisions to better the county. And these things we ask in your name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you have the minutes of the December 19th meeting, I need a motion to approve. <coughs> Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion by Jason Bullock. Uh, second. second by Ken Callaway. For discussion. Is there any, uh, is there any uh, discussion, additions, or corrections to the minutes? Is there any discussion? Yep. Correct. I've got a a problem they charge twenty five hundred dollars more than what I was quoted. Uh, on, that's on bills and claims run the men. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll make a motion to accept bills and claims. Okay. All the folks say aye on the other first. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Then I'll just second it for discussion. Okay. There you go. Okay, discussion. Oh, bills and claims motion. You get it. They charge twenty five more hundred dollars than uh, what the bid was. Should we table this and not pay it until we talk to them, or or can you take it out of the road construction materials, or what? What's, what we need to do? Is that his? Is that one of the roads that Scotty did for you or something? Or yes. And and there, he had no more left in his uh, uh, house bill money. You see, that's what he quoted it though. Yeah, Ain't that right, Ann? He sent a quote. Yes. Yeah. So we he pay up to that amount. we we'll pay up to the quarter of the amount. That's what you say. Can you pay up to that amount? But, uh, and then, that, well, we'll have to end up paying. He can bill us again. Okay. We, we could do that. Do what that good? Good. Pay up to the quoted amount, and then they can he can bill us for the rest of it separate, and we'll figure it out then. Okay. I mean, they, he has built it. He that is a bill. So. Sep he didn't bill it separately, though. He sent the over. We'd only pay him what he bid, not what he billed. He sent a bill. I know. And it was over two thousand dollars from the quote. Uh -huh. right, which we are disputing over the. Well, well we're saying we only pay what we quote. So you, you just need me to tell him why did you do this, or because you, it went over, and then he can bill us separately. Have you paid it yet, then? I'm not understanding. It went up. You said if it went over, he could bill us separately. No, I'm saying he will. I mean, if he's already Scotty's has already built us. I know, but he, he, he probably needs to give an explanation of why because he, he built it more in his quote. You would prefer the either the bill not be paid because the, the amount billed you're not well, paying I mean, in I full. Can or pay pay what the quote says and then send him something and say this went over the quote. The magistrate does not want to pay it, or that that we need an explanation. Okay. In separate bill. Okay. Can is that, can you amend your motion to that, uh, Jason? Sure, yes. <laughs> you got that thread. Yeah, explanation for overages. Okay. So, uh, Bo pointed out something too, like, this is looking at the nasal spray on the lake. What is, not almost $1,000 a day, what, is, what was that? Where is that, from the jail? Uh, yeah. Is it? Uh, is that one drug? No, I think that's where they bought medical supplies and probably that's the only thing we could figure out what it was. Okay. I don't think it's all. So that was a spray. that was a bunch of it then. The medical supplies. They buy Tylenol. And yeah. What is the uh, clerk recording in the payroll? Seven one twenty three. 
Uh, the clerk collects a separate fee that has to be on a separate fund. And we were only paying payroll out of there, but she bought some equipment. And, and by uh, the auditors, I can't pay for equipment out of payroll, so I had to move some money to cover that bill. But so she, it's just moving money. Uh, but it's dated 7-1. Uh, I know because it went back to 7 1. I'm hoping the officers won't write me up for it. Y'all are going to prove it today, but in order to go all the way back to when it started, I had to date at 7 1 in my system. So. Well, when did you receive the money? 7 21? We receive it every month. The auditors make, made me split. I can't just pay everything out of any account I want to. The code it a certain way. So when she bought some equipment, I couldn't pay that out of the payroll. So she had to then had to transfer. Yeah. So I had to correct the account numbers. Okay. It's it's just accounting numbers assigned to it. It, it, it's just a treasure thing, but it was in their budget. Absolutely. No new money or anything. It's just moved from one account to another. Okay. Ready to pay bills and pay? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that? All approved. We have before you the December, uh, Treasury December 2023 financial statement. We need to uh, show that we got it. Motion by Kim Callaway to acknowledge we received it. Right. Checking all over the place. Yeah. Uh, Larry Murphy. <laughs> off, any discussion? Not all favor say aye. Uh -huh. Motion passes. You've got the uh, sheriff's annual order setting salaries for the deputies. Do we acknowledge or do we do we roll call? Actually, we approved that. We approved that one, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I'll make a motion to accept um, the approved. The, the, the approved the um, sheriff annual order setting for salaries for deputies. Clerk and sheriff are on our calendar year, and we're required to do that in January. I'll second that, David. <coughs> second by Michael McKinney. You got it. Yep. Jason and Michael. Any discussion or uh, questions for Adam? He's here. I have any questions? Uh, being none, all in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed uh, like sign. The next one also is the sheriff. And this is a sheriff's fee office estimated budget. So this would be, uh, no, this would prove it too. So we're not acknowledging we're approving. Yeah. So. <laughs> Again, I'll, the, I'll make a motion to approve the 2024 Sheriff's Fee Office Estimated Budget. Second, McKenna. Got it. Yep. Any discussion or questions for Adam? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed, uh, like sign. Okay, down here this looks mighty familiar, but this is for best. You got the same two things for the clerk's office. And like Ann explained, it's because they're on a calendar year and uh, ours is already done on the, uh, on the uh, other year, on the uh, fiscal year. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second by Bo Bennett to uh, approve the clerk's annual order setting salaries for deputies. Got it. Yes. Any discussion? Any discussion about that? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. And the same thing with the sheriff, you got the uh, estimated budget. The motion to approve as well. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Is there any discussion on that one? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. 
Opposed, like that. Motion passes. Then we have the clerk's first quarter report. Now, this one we acknowledge. We just show that we got it. Because it's our approved subject to audit, whichever way you prefer. How are we doing on our uh, pan? How are we doing on the um, occupational tax? Um, have you seen any difference in that since the? Uh, we we are holding steady. I think the next quarter will tell the tale with Dicel fully closed. But the way it looks to me, um, I think we have other industries increasing that will offset it. I'm in high hopes so that that's what will happen. Because, like I said, we didn't receive the whole hundred percent of the occupational tax out there anyway. Did they? We shared that with other counties. So. And then the what's replacing that we don't share. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the, the still read that we do, but not the. Yeah. Uh, We've been hit pretty hard. Coal money and <coughs> occupational, too. But uh, WPT made a, a big expansion. The, we cut the ribbon on yesterday. So you got 100 people out there. And uh, it's. it's uh, our, our uh, employment situation looks good in the county. How many new ones did they hire on their uh, expansion? He didn't. Uh, they didn't say yesterday for sure. But boy, it's sure impressive the way they're building this and everything. But we got the clerk's fourth quarter report here. I'll make a motion that we acknowledge we received it. Okay. Second. Second McKenna. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Yeah. Aye. Uh, opposed like sign, motion carries. Um, and we have her her uh, December financial report too. I'll also make a motion to, to accept the 2023 December financial report of the clerks. Uh, you acknowledge it or? or yeah, acknowledge it. Yeah. That we received it. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Michael. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Sheriff, would you like to come up here closer and explain to us what you're wanting to do? <laughs> as far as the seal bid, is that right? Yeah. Is that what you're yeah, so in front of you, you should have the seal bid. <laughs> For, yeah. Yeah. It's for Bachman and Chevrolet. We, they're the only ones that put in again for us. So we're asking uh, permission to buy our our last Tahoe, if you will, for what was, would have been last year. Uh, this this vehicle will go into rotation again for the trolls. Uh, basically, we put out that we were, we were requesting our <coughs> Tahoe, and again, Bachman and Chevrolet were the only ones that put in for us. So we're asking that that be accepted. Who do we buy one from just about a couple months? Ago. Same people. Same people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's I'm the same. one at this price. I'm just, they're right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he does a little bit. He does a little bit. Okay. okay. That is true. Well, well the, the only, the only well, thing it has the uh, McKeever's remote with the starter on it. Still, even with the Does it have a sunroof? No. <laughs> he wants a sunroof. Well, we can't put the blue light on top, so yeah. <laughs> when you make the motion, be sure describe it in the motion. What we're we'll buying. You want me to go ahead and make a motion? Then? Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept Bachman uh, commercial for a 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe four-wheel drive four-door commercial. Uh, the quote is forty-five thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars and ninety-two cents. And you get the equipment to go on it, or some of it come. Yes, sir. We have all of it. Uh, is this one? This is white. Okay. We, we need a second. I'll second. Okay. It's second by. Right. 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 And brand new <coughs> chair. Yeah. Here's the whole. All the, the specs are in your packet. It's. Yeah. Very second. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh, uh, Opposed like sign, Mr. Carey. Tell you what, if we could get them there, for a personal one for that, I bet every one of us would run down and get one. I was going to say, you know, if we know. get that car for that price, we'd go get it. Yes. Uh, 
up here. Give me your personal. Um, it's just one. Yes. That doesn't have the interceptor in it. Um, it does. It's we have uh, your agenda. It's not marked correctly because Rip pulled back the one that had the. Uh, okay. The, the center. Anyway, we're not going to do that. But we do have one personnel issue uh, where Mr. Uh, David Hines has resigned from the litter abatement and we're hiring his replacement, which, which has been here before, and his name's Leslie Gibson. Uh, it's part time. And where's the mouth? You wouldn't know what their hourly rate's not listed on here. You wouldn't know, would you? Um, I would just put per wage scale. Per wage scale. Okay, let's do it that way. Effective date. Effective date uh, to today. We have to do Sunday. Yeah. Like Sunday. Sunday. May 7th. You the 7th. Okay. Yeah. January 7th. Starting this week? Yes. Starts tomorrow. So just real call on that. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Okay, and the weather siren agreement. Charlie was supposed to have been here to explain it, but I think I think uh, Justin understands it. Yeah, this is just a siren. I'm not for sure if he, he's already received. He's not buying one or anything. Uh, the location that I think they determined that might be good for it to be placed is at a property owned by the Ohio County Water District at, district at the Bluegrass Crossing. So, in a sense, we'd probably ask the court to consider a motion for approval of insta installation of that weather siren on the property of Ohio County Water District at Bluegrass Crossings in Beaver Dam and uh, for the judge to execute the agreement uh, consistent with what I sent you. Okay. I read the email this afternoon. I, I thought I think it's fine. I'll be honest with you, that second one you sent, where it's located and all those, it's like two pages long. Did you want to read all that? I, I have no idea what that means. So no, I, I think the motion to approve the yeah the easement, the easement would be good. It would be fine. It, I read it was fine, but that other one, I, the location part of it, I, I have no idea where it's going to be. So you made the motion? I make the motion, yes. I second. Second by Larry Murphy. Do you always include those, Justin? I don't remember. I mean, that's like... Well, it's just a property description of, of the entire property. We're not necessarily sure. I think he's just going to put it on... I don't know what they have out there. Yeah, but that's the description of the, the <coughs> entire real estate that the water district owns. Okay. Uh, so it's for property reference only. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like that. Motion carries. Uh, the next one, I just want y'all to uh, pass, you should have it in there. Uh, it's basically when uh, papers come over. I, 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 I didn't get you didn't copies give, of okay. your email. Oh, you didn't I give, didn't, I'm sorry, you I didn't. didn't think it. I'll hand this to Kenneth since he's the closest one by. I'll explain why it is and I'll see if he'll read it and make That's the brief. motion. That one's more recent. This is what? That one's more, it's the same motion. Oh, okay. Uh, what it is, I'm signing papers every month to get our money back from, from uh, emergency management and also from the senior center. And uh, we've had these done in the past, but not recently. So I'd like a new updated motion that basically says that uh, in, in, in order for get us our money back from them, I have to sign the papers. So it's authorized me to do so. So you may read this as a Please motion. Please do it as a motion. So I uh, move the court for authorization and authority to execute any and all agreements, contracts involving emergency management and the Senior Citizens Center that involve any and all reimbursement and payments to Ohio County. And this motion shall be retroactive from the date of any prior reimbursements or payments. So, so, so anything that we're supposed to be reimbursed that's allowing you to. And we have all along. 
accept the reimbursement and not we're not purchasing anything you're just allowing there's a there's a few terms in there that could possibly be cons considered contractual in nature mm -hmm. and so as a uh, 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 so it's just as a precaution uh, the judge and I discussed and it's best to probably have a motion indicating he can sign that sign those even though it's not costing the county anything we're getting reimbursed for anything for reimbursement that we can get so, so Kenneth read the motion so I have right. second by Larry Murphy. Any further discussion? Can we get up and see what I just want to read that. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Has any, well our road committee met today, but no action was taken and uh, I'm going to bring, um, I'll probably be consulting some of you to help me too, I'm going to bring a proposed amendment, a new ordinance for our road specs for the next meeting, that's what we t uh, talked about, and then but let give you a full two weeks with them before we vote. <coughs> was there any other? Oh yeah, there was another item in road committee. Does somebody want to discuss that? Uh, Is the road supervisor still here? No. Nick's not here. <coughs> well, did he get to talk to any of y'all in the committee meeting? No. He wants to buy that edger like we used on Davis Road. You know, right on the back of the truck. Well, could he just be at the next meeting then and bring the proposal <coughs> how much it yeah. costs? And, yeah, I mean, I Because he didn't leave it with me. And, I don't, yeah. And I, mean, I thought he, he uh, I was at the road department the other day and he was talking about it and he said we need it. He's, he, he did mention it to me. I was on your uh, road that you first used it. And yeah, done a good job. but I would just like to kind of see the money. And All the, these roads need that. Yeah. Yeah, we all need it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, if it's something feasible and financially, we can. You remember the price of it there? Y'all? No. no. Yeah, yeah people just had the information for us next meeting, I don't think. No, it wasn't real bad. Right. No, he had, I, I didn't know we were talking about that today. Okay. Uh, is there any other committee reports? <sighs> Any, any other committee? Yeah. There is a. Uh, did you get the email from Christina? I just, yeah. I wonder if you'd want to share. Yeah, there, there's going to be a uh, broadband committee meeting at 1 p.m. on Friday uh, where uh, it's from the Kentucky Broadband Initiative. The state's coming in to look at the maps and to try to get the map straight on. <clears throat> what's available and I guess probably and Michael can correct me if I'm wrong I think it's going to be what's available in the areas and what's being targeted who's being targeted as to to what is coming and we plan on I know I plan on bringing up you know poll permits and things like that that we're that we're, we're looking at as being the ultimate Hang up. Hope you hold up on everything. For, should, should residents be applying for that service now? For what? For to get when the poll gets there to them, when the line gets there to get Well, up. Uh, from <laughs> the last meetings that we've had, although I missed the last one, but essentially I had spoke with uh, Carla Sandusky with Spectrum. And this is more what, what we mainly talk about uh, when we talk about poll permits is the Warren Rule Electric area because Kenergy owns its own poles so they're just as quickly as they can get it done they're doing it Helen knows that uh, but Warren Road Electric has pole permits from Spectrum which has identified at least 1300 customers that I was told and take it with a grain of salt because she said she hadn't got all the numbers together for sure but she was thinking if everything went as planned and everything ran through there were no holdups 
that they could have everybody that they've got funded for here in Ohio County to have internet by the end of this year. And that is spectrum. And that's spectrum. So they should go ahead and apply for the service? Uh, well, no, I mean, you won't be able to. I mean, whenever whenever it's available, spectrum will let everybody know. They'll let them know. Okay. Yeah. But there are, and, and when I when I <laughs> mentioned there's, I think it's what, 1,294? Yeah, I mean, that's like different. specific addresses of customers. That's not just. Right. The whole you know, is Spectrum doesn't have the rights to all of the poles. Right. That's, and that's the whole Warner thing. Electric has what, like 12 or 1,300 pole permits, some of which are over a year old. And that's quite literally, they told us. Uh, at the meeting that I was at when Dalton Workman was Spectrum, he said that when they get all of their poll permits and everything they've got to have approved, they send a crew out the next day. Like, it immediately starts work. So, <coughs> for the Warren Road Electric, which is a big chunk of the county, now it's the most rural part in terms of internet service, but that is ultimately the holdup. Wow. It, it only goes as fast as Warren Road Electric lets it. One rules doesn't got the fiber optic on their poles. I know, and that that's the weird thing. Uh, I personally talked with somebody that that uh, that said, "Oh well, I'll just go to Warner Electric and tell them to start working on it." Warner Electric said, "We're not going to work on it." That's right. They have I they have no been there on there for six eight yeah, years. They they said that apparently the people that are selling their internet in Grayson and Warren counties, like outside of the Bowling Green area. Their closest uh, Wi-Fi cabinet is in Butler County, and it's just not financially. They apparently they don't see it as a financially feasible uh, project for them to provide internet in Ohio County. They can do it in Grayson County, and they don't have a problem. Uh, they might even be in Butler County too, but there. I, I guess there's just not enough big enough clusters of customers for them to do that but spectrum i mean they're they're ready willing and able they've just got to get all their poll permits signed off yeah they, they basically took the money got the fiber hung but nowhere was it promised that they had to turn the service on right and it might be and this is just speculation by me when they hung it that was before covid and that was before the federal government decided we <coughs> were going to start spending half a trillion dollars on getting everybody internet so now a company that might want to use warner electric's backbone that they already have hung has all the money in the world to hang their own it's so been hung a long time before covid up the road in. oh i know i mean that that that's that's the thing it, it might be that that covid essentially edged them out of being able to use their own network if they're not going to do it themselves i've seen lots of poles laying up there so maybe that's a good sign Maybe they're, they're laying out but, on the ground. No, uh, we're, but what's we're, happening we're on the ones that's been broken? What's yeah. But what's happening on Friday is the state coming here to find out what's available, essentially to every area of the county, and what's going to be available, and then we can start uh, seeing, you know, uh, maybe even hopefully there might be some people that don't realize that there's some internet available to them if they do it. So that might be that might be a good thing to come out of Friday. Good deal. Good deal. Maybe maybe these phone calls we get we can tell them something. <clears throat> oh yeah. Hey Judge, I talked to the guy from Ken Energy the other day because basically I was doing a bill. Yeah. And it was a workman's comp claim. But uh, he called me back and he lives down Beat Road and he said that the Davis County Fiscal Court gave him all their ARCA money. So everybody in Davis County can have internet. So they they left Hancock County, went there. When they get done with loading up Davis County, then they're coming back to Ohio County and starting at Beatty Road and uh, parts of Hancock County. And they're looking mm -hmm. at December 24. Is what is for everybody in Ohio County. It's what he told me. Yeah, that'll be on that. Yeah, and that's Skinner. That's uh, that sounds that sounds like we don't we didn't get a timeline. So you had a, you had a conversation with someone. We haven't got a timeline on Kennedy, but we right. knew that they were going to be because you got you just recently got Kennedy. Uh, yeah. Yes, and I can tell you right now, it's uh, wonderful. <laughs> I, well, that's what started the conversation because I I thanked them for the guy for it. He said, and he was actually the internet guy that you know uh, that lives down toward Bead Road, and he. Uh, 
told me he didn't have it at his house. And that's when I, we, I started asking about down toward Bitter Road, down toward Center Town, and, and parked up Hancock County because got family out there. And uh, that's what he told me. Spectrum was given another $1.4 million here on this stage a few months ago. Mm -hmm. It was given another $1.4 million in addition to all they got already to try to hurry them up, you know. Uh, any other committee reports? Thanks for that one, Michael. All right, Dustin, thank you a bunch on that report. We really don't have anything new to report, but there's some things happening. We'll know more Friday. Good deal. Thank you. Well, I'm glad y'all are working. It's good. Uh, if no other committee reports, let's go to the Magistrate's comments and requests. We're going to start on the opposite end this time. Larry Morphew. I don't have anything, Judge. Ken. None from the third district. No, I was going to talk to them, but I guess we're, we have plenty of salt out there, I guess, at the road department. We're, we do. It's old, but we got a whole big thing. I knew we had, it, was old, I it doesn't go bad, I don't think. Well, <laughs> you have to break it up. You got to take the back hole. Yeah. Just making sure, because I know it's going to probably next week be cold. We'll be using it. I was wondering how we use it. Okay. Mike? Got nothing from the first district this time. Has anybody from the general public got anything for I will about? say just getting back to the Warner Electric and the Spectrum. If you can, there are, I haven't gotten into it yet, but there are folks at Warner Electric that we have a, we have a, a uh, representative on the board that you can contact on the, you know, there's a, there's a link uh, to where you can contact them. And I can foresee in the near future getting any, anybody and everybody to contact them about moving these poll permits along. Good deal. Because that's, that's. We don't mean, have a representative on our board. There's, there's, uh, I forget his name. He represents Butler County and Ohio County on the Warner Electric yeah. Board. I can't remember his name. Yeah, you've got a thing to vote on in your electric bill about three years ago. Yeah, so, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be a situation where, you know, I, like, like I've said, Spectrum's in the poll permit and business, you know, writing them up, yes, and yes. Warner Electric's in the business of, a, of, of approving, so. I voted yeah. for David Fields, and he didn't get it. We've messed up when we were take our board member away when, when we had died, and they put him with Butler County. We messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think uh, thank everybody for coming. We've really had a productive meeting and, and we got a lot going on and I'll be calling on some of you to help me with this uh, uh, road uh, road spec thing before the, I pass them out the next meeting. But uh, a bunch of good things happening in the county. Like I said, WPT's expansion was announced yesterday. Uh, and uh, Miranda, I, I know you've never heard me say this, but our biggest deficit for, she didn't even smile at that. Uh, the biggest uh, deficit we have now is housing. Mr. Cruz is here, and that he's in that uh, department, so he can get more places for people to live. I, I'll tease you, Jim. I'll tell you later. Uh, <laughs> All right. Call this big a jerk.